Welcome back. More than a half million homes lost power today when the high winds hit. Here's the latest look at the statewide outage map. More than 522,000 homes are still in the dark. And you can see the outages are widespread, with some in almost every county in the state. Those in red have the most outages. Joe Arnold with Kentucky Electric Cooperatives joins us now. Joe, thank you for being with us. With this many homes without electricity, I can imagine it's going to take a long time to get to everyone. What are some of the obstacles your crews are facing tonight? Well, these persistent winds certainly are, are a complicating factor, Marvin, because you know, not only, of course, uh, many snapped poles, a lot of debris in the way in the first place, but then that those high winds that have persisted have resulted in flying debris and even more uh, outages on top of outages. So that's been a really complicating factor there. The other complicating factors you can see from, the, this is a co-op map behind me, not just the overall map you showed earlier for all outages. This is for the co-ops across Kentucky. It's so widespread. Sometimes outages are maybe, maybe a little more localized or and you can kind of have mutual aid that comes in from one area to help something else. When it's this widespread, there's not as much help to go around. Yeah, you kind of anticipate my next question. I know you prepare for all types of situations, but I was going to ask what makes this weather-related event a little different than the others. Yeah, I mean, it really is. And the fact that it's lasted so long, uh, as Justin was talking about earlier with your forecast, you know, this has just been a, a long-term event here. And it really, even overnight here, we're concerned about this even uh, continuing. So I would say that's a big factor right there is just the fact that it's it's was going on all afternoon and now into the evening. And there are still lines down all over the place and we do want to remind people about safety and, and staying away from any lines that you may see down. Again, I have to thank you for reminding everyone about that because that is the most dangerous part of, of course, electricity is dangerous inherently. Uh, but beyond that, of course, is that, uh, and I said earlier in your newscast that sometimes you think that a live wire will look live. It'll be sparking. It'll have this dramatic effect. That happens sometimes, but a line just lying there on the ground could, is going to be deadly uh, with, with doing nothing. So I'm just, I'm just, our concern right now is just to stay away from those, from those lines altogether. Uh, call 911 if you see one that's down. Everybody always wants to know how long. That's a question that's hard to answer, but I do know, as you say, you'll have crews coming in from other states, and all of those things maybe help move the process along a little bit. So the statewide association where I work, we help, we support all 26 co-ops all across Kentucky. We have been in touch tonight with electric cooperatives in Illinois, Missouri, Georgia, Louisiana, Virginia, and reaching out, kind of casting a very wide net to see if they're going to be available to be able to help us out here. There are crews who are gearing up right now in other states to be able to help out the co-ops here at home. Well, Joe Arnold, I know it's been a busy day. It's going to be a busy weekend. We thank you for joining us tonight, and we thank all of your crews who are working so hard.